a shocking, pitiful night for Manchester United. They are out of the European Cup. Manchester United season is possibly over. I cannot believe what we have witnessed. Atletico Madrid won the game 1 0, and it was a stark, warning, horrible night. For Manchester United, how bad is it going to get before it gets better? The, the funny thing is, I think that this warning wasn't even needed. They knew how bad it was. And this felt like it, there was an air of inevitability about this result. Um, you know, you could see Manchester United going out tonight, but they led, genuinely went out with a whimper. Was... There, were, there were so few chances for them. They, you know, there were a couple of half chances, but nothing there where I thought, you know what, you guys have made the best of this game. No, Atletico were the better the team. Atleti yeah. Atletico were the better team. I saw a ridiculous comment from... Um... From Owen Hargreaves that said that they weren't very good. He said that they he thought yeah, that they weren't Atletico by their were, high standards. Atletico were bang average, but they dominated the game. But that's a couple the of point. goals disallowed, pinging the ball about, cross field passes, yeah. completely dominant. They also, I think that's the point here: is Manchester United lost to a team that weren't performing anywhere near their best, and that will be really disappointing for them because Atletico I mean, played like the home team. Ronaldo, by the way, has got a limited number of Champions League seasons left. He's got he wants to get as many goals as possible. He wants to try and push it as far as he can go. These teams that are going to go deep in the Champions League, this is not that. Ronaldo anonymous tonight didn't turn up at all, did he? Uh, zero goals, uh, zero shots on target, just zero in so many different categories. And at the end, you saw his face. He did that. Mm. I think he was playing to the camera there, and I would be. I would, I would be surprised if Ronaldo stays. It was a really symbolic moment, I thought. You know, when uh, when Manchester United, just before this happened, on the kickoff stream that Loz and I were doing tonight, there were about eight minutes left, and I said to Loz, eight minutes to save their season. 30 seconds later, Rangnick makes a big sub. He takes off Harry Maguire. If you are taking off your captain in that moment, I genuinely don't know if he is your captain anymore. Nobody in their right mind takes off their captain when their season is dependent upon... What happens next? Exactly. Eight minutes, and you bring on one matter. That isn't a substitution to invoke, inspire confidence. And I would be very surprised to see Harry Maguire as captain of this club, certainly in the new season, but maybe again, even this season. I think we're looking at him remaining. They don't want to humiliate him. They want to keep, if they are going to sell him, they want to keep though. his value. But I get it. But I feel like also it's that sense of, well, if I take off the captain, he's a self sacrificing captain. You can kind of justify elements of that. You know, we needed to take a defender off and Varane is obviously the experienced Champions League defender there. I think that's how Manchester United will, well, Ranić will try to justify it. But ultimately, I do think we have to start asking questions over his own selections. I think uh, Manchester United fans will mentally have written this season off the second that they had to change manager. Yeah. But what you never want to do as a top tier club is, almost, and I'm not being funny when I say this, this club... They're putting themselves into an element of feeling less relevant than the likes of Man City, Newcastle. What they call new money are taking over from where they are well, at the do, moment. Do you, know, do you know what we should explore? You mentioned Rangnick there. It's important to ask this question. It's all very well for me to say that it feels a symbolic moment and Harry Maguire isn't captain anymore because that substitution was made and they've taken their captain off yeah. in a moment where you need... A captain. Yeah. You need somebody to play and, and play with their heart in this league and make sure that everybody is completely focused on the job in hand and they take, took off their captain. But it's important to ask this question. Did Rangnick make the right move? Should he have no. taken off Harry Maguire in that circumstance? Well, could you not have taken off a Tellers? Could you not have taken off a Delo? Could you not have taken off one other player in that team at that point? Also, should you be bringing on Juan Mata? Juan Mata's played five games for Manchester United all season. Is he a player that's going to change a game of that magnitude? Is he also going to be able to up the pace? Is, is he, he going to be able to keep the pace? And the other thing with it is, are you not doing yourself a disservice? Would Rangnick not like the opportunity to just go, it's all got a bit wrong, I don't really know what to do. This team are probably... You know if you're one nil down in Europe at home, the worst team to have to fight back from that situation against is Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid. So you're out of ideas. You, creatively, you can't do it. Pogba has been nullified. Cristiano Ronaldo has been nullified. Jadon Sancho has been nullified. So do you know what? Let's go the other way. Where's Harry Maguire? Get him up front. Stick it in a box. Hope for the best. Rangnick could have done with that as an option as well, couldn't he? Cristiano Ronaldo finishes without a trophy for the first time in 16 seasons. No! No way. This is the first time in 16 years that Cristiano Ronaldo hasn't won a trophy. Exactly. That is, I mean, that is unbelievable, isn't it? You've got to think to yourself at this point. I, you know, I get Ronaldo came back to the fanfare and the pomp, and it's great for marketing. It's good to, you know, there's a good marketing aspect here, image rights, all these kind of things. 
At this point, Manchester United have serially mismanaged so many players. I can list you. Cristiano Ronaldo, Rashford. Pogba. Pogba. Sancho's only just getting his mm. feet under the table. Varane must be furious. Mm. Harry Maguire, who is, by the way, and I get it, but he's still the most expensive defender in the world. Mm. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. Aaron Wambasaka was mm. billed as a great player when they signed him for almost £50 million. And then you've also got a series of other um, just yes. serial mismanagement. Van, Van de Beek and people like that. people like that. You'll also look at the fact that, you know, they haven't made... Cavani, I bet you can't wait to get out of that place. Yeah, it was... It, mate, nobody played well for them tonight, though. No. Like, nobody. I thought that they would use it. And, you know, at half-time when they were losing, Loz and I were speaking on that show, and we said that this needs to be presented to these Manchester United players as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. You have an opportunity to almost make yourself... You can write yourself into folklore. If you, if you score the goal that takes Manchester United through, you have an opportunity now to, to etch yourself into the folklore of that club. You have an opportunity. You're losing at home against Atletico Madrid. This can be one of those historic European nights at Old you Trafford. You do that? Step up. And nobody did. Nobody did. And the ease with which Atletico Madrid were knocking it about, one-touch football, beautifully looking after the ball, switching the play to take Manchester United fullbacks. I like Diego Dallo. Uh, Diego Dallo. Didn't know what to do. Because there was no pressure on Didn't the ball. Didn't know where to go. Beyond the high press, uh, which wasn't well executed anyway, Manchester United didn't really have a defensive system. And I'll be honest, um, I watched Manchester City versus Crystal Palace last night. Crystal Palace played better than Manchester United did tonight. Yeah. With, it... with more venom, with more attacking talent, with more attacking dynamism than Manchester United did this evening. And you're telling me that starting with Alanga, Sancho and Ronaldo is limiting to your attack? It, it shows you how let down Manchester United fans have been by the management. And how you're, basically at this point, you, your expectation is so rock bottom, you don't expect something. But from the outside, this looks bizarre. And believe me, take it from someone who went down this path in the 90s with Liverpool of, no, no, mm. we're all right. They don't know what they're talking about. Those guys have all sold out. They don't understand. We understand that we understand. No one's having to go at Manchester United fans. No one's saying they're responsible. Hold your managerial team responsible. Hold the people who made responsible. Can, can, they, can they make top four? Could they use tonight's... I'll be really positive here. Yeah. And I don't think this is true, but I'm going to ask a question. It's the can only way they Can they use they do. the defeat tonight as a sort of moment where they say, right, it's all gone wrong. The season is a write-off. That record about Ronaldo is terrifying. Mm -hmm. But we have, we have whatever it is, 12, 15 games. It's their only option. I think, I think it's genuinely at this point they've backed themselves into a corner where this is their only option in getting something out of the season. And the, the thing for them is, it's not in their hands. It's if they, in but other teams' hands they, around them. But if they were to win every game, look, I'm not, I know this doesn't happen, but okay. they can do it. Is there a way, do you think that they will react? They're what we're talking about. Of course they're not going to react. Not we haven't seen the, anything to suggest, anything over the course of the Rangnick era to suggest that there is a resilience in this Manchester United team. A shocking night for Manchester United, what? out of Europe, comprehensively beaten, at home, didn't really turn up. They were beaten on every level, beaten uh, by the management, beaten by the players, beaten by the heart of the players. And I just couldn't believe it. And then, and then I suppose to tip it all off, did you see, have you seen the footage of uh, Diego Simeone running down the touchline being yeah. pelted? Yeah, yeah, I get that. I sort of enjoy that at your home stadium. But I do, I do think it's not great. I mean, it also, I mean, he must have been giving it to the fans at one end or something. Or maybe he said something before the press, con before tell you, the press tell conference. You what, he, is, he is a sensational manager. I, though, there's I no think, doubt. and I get it, but I've said it myself. I've been at this point as a, as a Liverpool fan. When you're at the point where you're thinking, we can stop Liverpool winning the league, mm. there is an element of pride about that. Yeah, when, you're see but, when your season revolves around someone else losing, exactly. yeah, you've hit rock you've bottom. You've hit yeah, rock yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah. When you're Manchester United... You're QPR fan. QPR right. fans delight in Chelsea not winning more right. than they do their own team winning. Yeah. Right. I can, and, and, I get, and I get that. But that's because I understand where QPR are, are right now mm. and where they're meant to be. I understand where Manchester United are right now and where they're yeah. meant to be. Look at the difference. If you're thinking, if you're looking up at someone else and going, we can stop them from winning it. Mate, that's unbelievable. But thank you all so much for watching this video. It thank has you. been a, a, a night to remember. Make sure that you subscribe to Loz. He's got a new football channel that is superb. So make sure that you check that out. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video and haven't yet subscribed, please do it right now. In a bit, yo.